Fred Balacha here with you today in Sagaponic, Long Island, the heart of the Hamptons, at Wolfer Estate Winery, my newest Golden Palette partner and first Golden Palette winery. Here today with Sue Ellen Tunney. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure to meet you as well. Okay. So we're going to pour through some of our wines with you. I'm very excited. I've been a wine club member for a number of years Great. and love the stuff you folks are doing out here. Wolfer Estate has been a personal and family favorite. Grew up on Long Island and have been coming out here for a long time. And uh, you guys have been around since 1988, you were telling me. That's right. Back, when I, was, uh, back when I was a kid, spending the summers in the Hamptons and Montauk. Uh, absolutely wonderful. Great to be here. Well, thank you for having us. We're going to start off with our sparkling. Uh, this is called Cool As Well. It's a sparkling Blanc de Blanc, 100% Chardonnay from 2010. And all of our sparkling is made in the classic Champenoise method, which means that we actually ferment the wine in the bottle. And then we age the sparkling with all of the yeast in the bottle. So you get that lovely toasty, yeasty, bready flavor. But then because it's 100% Chardonnay, you get a lot of apple fruit. Well, that's delicious. It's really crisp. I have several of these in my fridge at home, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's a favorite. This is called White Mischief, which was named after one of Christian Wolfer's uh, fantastic yearly parties he would have. He was a bit of a mischievous character, so <laughs> it suits him. It's 100% Chardonnay, and the thing that makes this wine really unique is that it's wild yeast fermented. So typically, when you're making wine, you add yeast, but instead of adding yeast, we just let all the natural yeast that's in the winery ferment the wine. So you get all different types of strands of yeast, and yeast have different flavors. So you get a real tropical kind of fresh Chardonnay versus you know like an apple cooked apple. And of course, all of our white horse label wines that we have here are actually named after horses in the, that we have on our property. So it's sort of a personal connection to Christian Wolfer. So this is more of a classic uh, Burgundian style Chardonnay. It's called Pearl. The wine is 100% Chardonnay and it's all fermented in French oak. It's not overly oaky. We use a mixture mm. of new and old oak. So you're gonna have a beautifully balanced Chardonnay. One of the things that Long Island can sort of prides itself on is the minerality in wine and the acidity in wine. So it's always very well That's balanced. Delicious. This is outstanding. A big part of my lifestyle is being able to enjoy and pair wines with food, something that's been done literally for thousands of years. This is called Landius. Um, it's 100% Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is a very tricky grape to grow, mm -hmm. and so it is hard for us sometimes to have successful Pinot Noir out here on Long Island, but in really good years, we'll definitely make it because it, it's, it stands up. And Pinot Noir has a really beautiful mm -hmm. cherry fruit, but then it undertones this sort of nice sort of earthiness, mushroom and little barnyard quality. The other amazing thing about our wines is their ability to age. And Pinot Noir is one of the wines because of its high acid level that um, it really ages beautifully. So you can buy one of our wines and you can keep it in your cellar for 10 plus years and, and, and enjoy it and find that it's even developed into something even better, you know, down, down the road. And I know the majority of Long Island wineries are on the North Fork, but this is actually considered the Hamptons, the South Fork. That's right. Well, property values are a little higher on the right. South Fork, and, but Christian um, purchased the property actually in the 70s and then developed the, more of the property in 1988, um, but was fortunate to kind of get here a little bit earlier um, and, and sort of establish himself um, when land was probably a little bit more affordable. <laughs> and we're going to try, like yeah, the, it's called Kaya. It's a Cabernet Franc. Mm. Now, Cabernet Franc um, is one of the most popular varietals grown on Long Island. It's uh, a really durable varietal, which helps us. Um, and it tends to have a very smoky, um, peppery flavor yes, to yes. it. Um, so that makes it really appealing. It's a great summer wine because you're into health and nutrition. Um, they also don't have high alcohol as some other regions. If you're in Europe, if you're in France, you drink French wine. If you're in Italy, you drink, drink Italian wine or your right. own region's wine. But in New York, we drink everything. So um, it's nice to have people also drink New York wine. Finally, uh, the Fatalis Fatum. I, I which, love this. Which means your fate has been sealed, by the way. So, <laughs> uh, again, a great horse name. Right. Um, it's our right. Bordeaux blend. So Bordeaux, um, in Bordeaux, you grow Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot. Those are usually the four varietals. And so that's what this is. This is a blend um, of Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, actually. And again, aged in French oak, 18 months. The Merlot gives it this really wonderful fruit quality, mm. jam quality. That's the Cabernet excellent. gives it a little bit more of a 
really nice blend. Citrusy note, yeah. Now, the quality out here is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, the wines I've just tasted are fantastic, and I, I suggest to anybody who maybe has or has not visited Wolfer Estates or come out to the east end of Long Island that you definitely should. This, this needs to be on any wine connoisseur or any person of good taste shortlist. Definitely on your itinerary. Mm -hmm. Come out here, enjoy it. It's beautiful. Yep. The food, the wine is second to none. The scenery, the history. That's right. Eastern Long Island, there's really no place like it in the world. So it's. It's a treat to be here. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you.